I'm gonna try the whole, see how many pulls it takes to start it today, since it was run just yesterday now. Unless the phone falls over. All right. I did have the gas cap loosened, air's on, eco mode is off, choke is on, gas is on, it's been on for quite a while now, so we'll see how many pulls it takes to get it going today. There we go. Try to record this while I turn on the air conditioning inside and see how it goes. So let's start recording on here. So we have a time stamp about when it's going to be right there, I guess. I've never used this thing before. I guess it doesn't work. That's great. That's going to be useless. All right, I guess I'm just going to have to video the cord there. So I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did yesterday so I don't screw something up here. Put down the phone for a minute. Unplug it here. Plug it in here. Alright, I've reconnected the Bluetooth. It says it did anyways. Supposedly pulling 16 watts now. Now we're going to go turn on the air. Lights, they only pull like 55 watts. And then turn that down. See if fan kicks on first, and then the compressor will kick on next. All right, it goes to overload, but then that green light comes on here. We're at 1,225 watts. Point two amps. That's below what we're supposed to have here with 13.3. Now this thing goes for like a few minutes and then all of a sudden it starts to hunt around for the proper RPM or something like that and then it just gives up and we get an overload on it. That's what I'm trying to capture here. this is the world's most boring video and that it just keeps on working. But what happened to that other guy's uh, Hutch, Hutch, Hutchinson's is he said it ran for about three minutes at high load like this and then gave up the ghost and just Overloaded, dropped down to 98 volts, and I think that's exactly what happened here yesterday with mine. So we're gonna let it run, and see what happens. So we got green output. The wattage is slowly climbing as the resistance is building up inside that air conditioning system, refrigerant system.
pretty interesting, isn't it? How that wattage goes up as the load builds inside the compressor. And this was a cold start, by the way. Oh, there, it's starting to hunt now. See the voltage? captured this thing that's it's more than I was expecting and you know what the overload never actually went on on here um, so what I don't know what happened if it if the uh, inverter is pulling power and it's bouncing off of the, the throttle governor or if there's some kind of a, a heating going on in the stator that is overloading it um, but yeah I mean that's obviously <laughs> not acceptable because it runs I mean it does run and uh, I'll have to look at the video and see what the amperage was at and see if we're exceeding our amperage but we never got the, the overload we're still green on here and these um, generators you gotta shut them down to reset them so it never overloaded it just simply the air conditioner dropped offline all right I'll have to think about this one been sitting for about 20 minutes or so when I had a bite to eat. Um, I've decided to rerun this test only. I'm going to do it with eco throttle off the entire time. That way we can see if it's throttle related or if it's something else like load related. Um, so I got to get this thing set up again. All right, so here's the starting conditions. Got uh, 16 watts right now. We'll go turn on just the LED lights. They only draw, like I said, a few watts. And then kick on the air conditioner. Fan. Wow, almost fell off my chair. All right.
doesn't isn't changing that much, but the voltage is dropping. Look at that go. gave up. Well, alright, I'm going to need some expert opinions on this one. Is that a stator issue or is that an inverter issue? Uh, I would love to hear opinions on this. Now, I'm going to do a resistive test. Uh, 630 watts, 1250 watts, 680 watts, 1250 watts. So, We'll start loading this thing up, and I've got a kilowatt, by the way, attached over there we're going to look at. And we'll see if this thing fails. I'm just going to dial up 1250 right away. Now the important thing to keep in mind is I never got the overload. It never shut down. It's still running from that time when it kicked off the air conditioner. So we're going to watch the... Here's the wattage. must be uh, more resistive losses in this setup here than I had earlier because it was 1250 out of the wall when I tested it but obviously here we're at 1400 which is actually good because it's pretty close to what we were at um, when we had the air conditioner running. Just leave it go with that for a few minutes and see what happens to the voltage.
Let's see what happens if we go to Eco Throttle. Look at that voltage. two heaters over here probably gonna only need one of these but I'll turn that one on to 1250 or whatever it was and then we have the additional load here running through that light resistive light so should be able to very closely uh, can you believe that bug is back what the hell? there's two of them here stupid horse flies um, 500 watts max I learned that the hard way of course uh, as is my way. So let's try this first. Yep, I can vary the brightness there. So if you crank it all the way up, what's maximum? 600 watts just for the light. Alright, let's get that. Alright, turn that back down. Now we're going to crank up the heater to see what that does.
slowly increasing and at some point it tries to drop the it goes to drop the voltage and then it sees a voltage drop and somehow it must kick the I don't know if it kicks the throttle up or down it probably should kick it up but uh, there may be an issue going on with the, the auto throttle plus an issue going on with the inverter and the stator for all I gotta test that stator that's just all there is to it we have to take it apart 